I don't know. This is not good. And if I take it, ah, uh, no. It's horrible. And it won't even focus for fun. Hello everyone, it's Becky here and welcome back to my channel and welcome back to a new video. So, it seems like there is finally the time for cozy and warm sweatshirt, but in the same time it also means that there is no daylight for me to film with. Uh, so, I apologize for this little weird uh, lighting situation. I have quite dark here in the room because um, I'm filming right before going to work. So, it's still quite early in the morning. But anyway, I just wanted to say a couple things to you and also welcome you to another tag video. Hopefully, you will forgive me for doing two tags video in a row, but um, last week was just very, very busy and unfortunately I was not able to squeeze filming in this um, and it was a little bit stressful as well so I decided that I really want to kind of relax with this and because I like to do tags and I also still quite a lot of them waiting for me to do them I decided to go for one more and before I start I just wanted to say a couple things as I said and one of them would be a big big thank you to all of you again Jakujem thank you very much because um, I realized that it's already two hundreds of us here so Jakujem 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 thank you very much um, okay, yeah, you can say it's, it makes me really happy. And the second thing I wanted to say is little apologize uh, to a couple of you because I realized recently that YouTube once again did this funny thing when I was not able to reply to some of the comments which I received from you on my, I think it was latest video. Um, I could see the comments in the notification bell but once I tried to click on it and then answer I just could not do it, the comment would disappear and I could not even see it underneath the video. So I just wanted to say that if this happens that I won't answer any of your comments or some of your comments um, is because I was not able to because of some YouTube weird magic um, but I will always try to answer your comments so I'm sorry if I did not reply and I'm sending hello from here at least. Right so those were the most important things I wanted to say and now I will go and tackle the prompts because yay another tag and actually these are two tags together but I think the first one is probably the shortest tag I ever seen and I ever done and I was tagged to do both these tags by Kelly from books I'm not reading so thank you very much Kelly for tagging me and the first one is called my book buying history tag which was already originally created by one book one review and the first one says where do I get my books so I would say mostly online recently and the funny thing is uh, that I am probably gonna make my first haul video which I never done before because I said a couple times that I really really try to be mindful when it comes to buying books and I never buy more than one book at a time well watch me uh, the other day I purchased six books in one day so <laughs> there we go and I think I will make a whole video about it so there is a whole coming but uh, yeah I would say online mostly right now because I do love to go to bookstores and I do love to wander around bookstores but sometimes I just end up not buying books there just to buy those books online when I get home anyway so yeah online and stores and um, sometimes library but I haven't been in library for so so long the question number two, how do I choose the books I get? Well, right now, uh, in the recent months, it's been because of BookTube. 99% uh, of books I choose to read are from bookish recommendations from lovely and wonderful BookTubers I met here over the last couple months. But before that, I must say that I used to do some sort of research, you can say, and I would just go and type to um, internet the top five books of the month or something like that, because I don't have many people around me who would be reading. My sister reads a lot, but she has a little bit different taste in books, so although I used to speak about books with her a little bit, um, still she has a little bit different taste, so I would just do some research before, but right now booktube is responsible for most of the books I'm reading. Right, and believe it or not, that's the end of the first tag, so I'm just gonna tag the second one, which is how do you find time to read? And for this one I was also tagged by Kelly, but also by Nikki from... Okay, sorry, my brain just stopped, but it's red dot reads. <laughs> I'm sorry Nikki, yeah, from Red Dot Reads. Nikki is a wonderful booktuber doing her booktube from Singapore, which is amazing and I highly recommend you to go and check her channels and also Kelly's channel out. And this tag was originally created by Working Man Reads. 
So I'm gonna tackle the questions. The first one says, where is your favorite place to read? Mm, I don't think I have a favorite place. I really try to read whenever possible, but I would say that recent months I really started to listen to audiobooks every single day when I go to work and also when I go from work. So that's something I really enjoy, but in the same time I really do like to read in my bed in the early morning or then I, in recent weeks, I really started to read, for example, in my parents' bedroom in the evening after I come home from work because my sister, she has been very busy when it comes to uni work. She has to do in our room because I share the room with my sister for now. Um, so I wanted to give her a little space and I kind of took myself to my parents' bedroom and I found a really, really lovely corner there. So I enjoy reading there a lot as well. Okay, do you read every day? Yes, I do. Uh, mostly it would be audiobooks on my way to work. Um, hopefully it can count as reading, but I do count it. Um, and then also in the evenings before I go to sleep, I, I like to read in the bed. <coughs> Excuse me. Do you read out loud to any family members? No, unfortunately we do not this anymore. I mean, my parents used to do this when me and my sister were young and before we went to bed they would read stories to us. Uh, but for now I only did it to kids on summer camps, where I, which I used to do for several years. And it was really lovely because every evening I would just go and the smallest kids we used to have in the summer camps, I would always read some books or even tell the stories. I remember one night I just made up kind of the story um, about Peter Pan, which I not remember very well so I think I made some major changes in the story but they seem to like it so it was nice but uh, yeah I'm not reading to anyone at the moment but hopefully one day to my kids right your favorite career for a main character to have <coughs> excuse me okay tea break <coughs> right so your <coughs> Ta -da. right so question number four your favorite career for a main character to have and give an example of the book that has the job in it. So I would love to say something with filmmaking or writing because it's a career path which I would really love to get into but it's been really a struggle <laughs> to get into film industry as maybe many of you know but because we are talking about books I'm gonna say something with magic so anything from Harry Potter professors to fairy godmother I mean it would be really great occupation to be a fairy godmother so magic. Do you read at work? No, <laughs> no, because <laughs> there is no time at my work even to go to toilet sometimes, but uh, definitely no time for books. <laughs> okay, tell me what book you are going to read today. Well, again, after I wrap up this, I'm running to work and I will listen to audiobook, which I'm still listening, called The Empire of Vampire, which is an amazing book and I still have approximately 8 hours left there because the book has altogether, I think it was 27 hours or more, so it's a long book but I love it and in the same time I also started to read the book called The Man Called Owe Owe, that's how you pronounce it, I hope, from Frederick Beckman, which is the author I read for the first time this year. I read Anxious People from him and I loved that book. And I just really started last night, literally, with the man called Owe, Owe, <laughs> Owe, and, and I really enjoyed it as well. So I would like to continue reading these two books. Right, and the last prompt is also tag someone to do the tag. I am very sorry because I don't know who already done this tag or didn't, but I will try and I will tackle three people. First, I would like to tag Daniela from If Only For A Page. Daniela is a Czechish booktuber who is doing her booktube in English, so that's something very interesting and I discovered her quite recently. Uh, then I would love to tag Annie with a book and AJ Dan reads and writes and both of them are amazing booktubers, have really great taste uh, in books and read quite a big variety of books, so definitely recommend you to go and check their channel out and yes those are all the tags all the questions so I hope you enjoyed them and I will see you with another video very soon take care bye